Hey guys, uh, welcome to Silo Design or Showroom. Um, and uh, this is Stu. Hello. I am uh, Thomas. Uh, I'm the let's say the producer behind it, and uh, also let's say the investor in the project. And uh, Stu is the guy, the crazy guy with the good designs. Um, we're Thank here you. to <laughs> we're here to show you uh, a small presentation of the products. Uh, first of all, uh, the barbecue, which uh, personally I fell in love with the first time I saw it 18 months ago. Um, two. So, please show the people why did you, yeah, your ideas behind the design and why is it so unique? Yeah. Um, well, the idea behind the design is that uh, we all know the the problem with juice and grease falling to the charcoal and all that toxic smoke that comes out of that. And I found out that if we make it a vertical uh, composting chamber, we can use it on the coal on three sides and uh, so that's the main idea behind it and then uh, of course it should be transportable and also economic in use so um, well um, let me introduce how to use it you take off the the top plate and then you put in the coals here uh, first of all well I assume you also need to put in here in yeah, the bottom yeah yeah, yeah. some some uh, heating sticks yeah, yeah. or whatever then you uh, light up the coal and after 15 to 20 minutes it will be ready for use. And um, then you have the spits and uh, then you put on your meat and vegetables and whatever and then you can make slow cooking and you can make fast cooking. Depends on how close you put the spits to the coal. But you have also these three sides, so you could have fish on that side and meat here. Yeah, and then oh, and if you have taken off the spit, you can lift it and take it with you. And also and unique is that yeah, well, you can put it directly on the, on the table. table. Don't worry that it oh, will ruin oh. uh, plastic or wood. Yeah, and then we have a top plate, so here you can have your steak, your sausages, or bread or whatever, or have. If you're ready with a spit, you can just have it here for a little bit of heating. And uh, the grease and juice that drips from the from the food is collected on this drip tray, which you can just take off and wash. And you see this 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 is of course this washer shape. Yeah. The whole bar. Yeah. This one here is stainless steel, mm. so this dishwasher is one. Safe. This one can actually go directly into the dishwasher, yeah. while the other colors we have, on there you cannot put. There's only the, the top yeah. plate yeah. you Which can put in the, in the dish tray yeah. and of course there's the spikes into the yeah, dishwasher. Yeah. So, um, and uh, this is a A4 size paper and then we have the A3 and also uh, A5. And uh, here we, you can barbecue for six persons on the spits and I don't know how many such as you can have there. Here you can make for eight spits and if you divide it, you can actually make for 16 people here. And then the small one is more or less for the, for the lovers. <laughs> the dating so barbecue. The, right? the dating barbecue, <laughs> yeah, of course. So um, that's a cute, cute model. So, um, and um, it has been tested now by many chefs and they are really, really satisfied with it. And uh, it gives you a new way of grilling. Yeah, they, I, I would say that now with the, all the all the chefs I've been talking to, what they find really unique is that this where you can slow cook, where you can actually from because you have three three levels Positions, into the chamber. Yeah. It actually makes that everything that makes difficult to barbecue. Sometimes when you use fish and so on or, or turkey, it can get very dry. But here you can actually because if you take a little way from the chamber, it starts actually to boil a little bit, so you keep the juice inside. So the 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 chefs came back and said they were really really. Uh, surprised and, and also impressed that it was possible and uh, that's also why we made this restaurant version since we met so many chefs who have seen many potential using it also in the restaurants uh, most of it in south of Europe yeah so that was the barbecue yeah. um, then you have this uh, yeah. your your chopping boards yeah. here that is the grand chef the, the, the largest one in a series of eight uh, cutting boards and um, well I was sitting in my bathtub uh, one morning and was just wondering it's always very difficult to handle and and get a grip on the on a chopping board and um, well then I said why not just make two actually it's four cuts in the in the opposite corners so um, 
when I'm done chopping, I just take my hand here and I can lift it very easily. And well, I'm right-handed, so therefore I do not use the corner here. But if we then turn it around and I'm left-handed, then I don't use this corner. So in that way, it's, yeah, it, it works both ways. And here we have this uh, for, for the juice and whatever, when you have a big roast. And uh, then if you will use the, the juice for the, for the gravy, you can just lift it and then it will easily pour over the corner. And also, I found that this was a beautiful shape. So it becomes more or less a graphic object. And, um, well, I think it's important as an architect and a designer. And then why then we, we chose the marble wood yeah. uh, because this is the wood uh, sort that has the highest anti uh, bacteria function, function. Yeah. Um, so that was also a reason why we took that yeah. one then um the trays yeah. uh, which i just take the other yeah. take some other sizes um this is actually from our prototypes um you take this one also this is actually a version that we did for another client, uh, just to show the function behind it, you have the three sizes. And they fit into each other. So you, yeah, you buy it as a, either you can buy it as a as a set, or you start to buy only one, and then you collect. And yeah, it has multiple functions. functions. The idea, of course, is you, if you are, yeah. And you can even say if you have, you can have four. So it becomes again a graphic. Uh, input to your uh, home decoration and they have to protect them from scratching we have used cork dots underneath also to raise it a little bit so we we have this space underneath the the painted steel plate and um, you also have the space between the grip or the the, the wooden frame and then this um, painted steel plate this is powder coated and uh, very, very strong and durable. So, um, yeah, and we of course, you could say have the safe colors and then there will come the season colors. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we will come with four, we have four, four season colors yeah. per, per, let's say, for spring, for autumn. Um, and then if any bigger clients, we can also yeah. do custom made colors, right? So on the metal. Um, for the wood, it would be standard, would be the smoked oak. Uh, the unfortunately, the the marble wood, <laughs> it's uh, we everything is sold out at the moment, uh, and it's uh, we're going on some exhibitions, okay. so it's it's out of the house right now. But we will show it later. Uh, you can also go to to the webshop to yeah. the webshop to see it. And uh, in the pipeline, we have um, a collection of vases. Um, Thomas will now collect the other one. This is the smallest one. And again, the idea was to uh, to let's to take. To make the the flowers float in space, so therefore I um, I made this um, yeah this steel frame, and then you have a um, a glass uh, vase that hangs, and uh, it could also be so that uh, you can buy a, let's say a green one and put inside the clear one, and then you will have um, another dimension of how to put well, your flowers. Well, we, we have to say these are prototypes yeah. they have not been yet been put in production because unfortunately the factory has uh, some higher quantities as minimum so we are uh, waiting um, for, for a potential big customer to order and then we will order to stock um, of course what is also very important to say is that what you see here the chopping board the, the, the our trays and and the barbecue that is made in Denmark, um, which is for us also a very strong point because uh, we want to keep the Danish DNA uh, here and try to also yeah, create hopefully some jobs by having a demand for these products <laughs> is uh, our big wish. So that was all for now. Um, we come back later on with some news, other some news when we have more news. Um, hope you like what you have seen and um, yeah, send us an email, any questions? I just have one question for yeah. you, Thomas. Yeah. Why did you choose to work with an idiot like me? <laughs> because I have a weak point for idiots. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, it's it goes both <laughs> ways then. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, as you say. Yeah, uh, yeah. The what we can say is that the 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 the, the encounter between me and two was quite uh, unique and different because what he came for eighteen months ago was actually 
this kind of whipping, which is what I do. Uh, then I just asked him what else you were doing, and he showed me prototypes of these products. Uh, and I asked him, why can I buy it? Because I really like it. And uh, he then told me, well, it was not in production yet. And then, uh, as he says, I was an idiot to invest a lot of money in this, a lot of time, and now we are here. And uh, looking very much forward to it. Now, now we are ready on the journey to, to get it on the road, and hopefully many, many people will use it. Um, we are ready, and uh, we hope that uh, you give us a chance to, to buy one. And I hope that uh, in the future, this is only the beginning of a great adventure, and a lot of other products will hopefully come in the pipeline. Yeah. There are many products in there the pipeline. There are many in the product, and okay. I have so many sketches, <laughs> so it's just about going over the ramp. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, talk soon. See you. See you bye. Thank you.